the toy box mode uh, really caters itself to different play styles. Different players like to do different things. Uh, some players are achievers, they love to do missions. Some players are explorers and they love to just discover new areas, discover new things, new characters. And uh, some players are uh, you know, builders and customizers. And so uh, the toy box lends itself to all three types of play. Where if, uh, if you really enjoy doing missions, we have a very robust mission system that gives you a, a very structured play experience. But everything that you bring into the toy box is also customizable and you can personalize it to be your very own. Uh, whether it's the color of your buildings to the, uh, the dress and costume of your townspeople. So that really it becomes your own story. It becomes your toy story. And, uh, you know, if we're friends and I come over and look at uh, what you're doing, it's going to be completely different than what I'm doing. Uh, and so that allows you to kind of exercise your creativity and your imagination. Uh, we're very excited to use the, the PlayStation Move. Uh, and we wanted to make sure that uh, it was as good an experience as we could create. So uh, it is a very specialized uh, place where you use the Move. It's a downloadable game. Uh, and it's a, kind of a, a Woody's Roundup a shooting gallery that uh, utilizes the you know the the pointing and shooting features of the move. Uh, it's a lot of fun. Uh, I do love uh, the the PlayStation Three, uh, but you know. I'm a, I'm a game maker. I love all of the consoles. Uh, and we chose the, the PlayStation 3 because, you know, Sony came to us and they were very interested in having some exclusive content uh, that was uh, in the Toy Story universe. Pixar sets a very high quality bar. Uh, their movies are uh, beautiful. And I don't think you can create an authentic uh, Toy Story or Pixar movie without paying a lot of attention to their lush visuals. Uh, so we started on day one uh, with our concept paintings on what we wanted our levels to look like, uh, paying attention to that level of detail. And we worked on it every day the entire two and a half years uh, until it got to the point where we felt like uh, it was acceptable. Pixar has uh, done a fantastic job of telling the story of Toy Story 3. And I think that, you know, in order to create a very satisfying experience that's uh, for the consoles and that's interactive, we didn't want to just retell the movie. So we approach the story of the film as a, a reminiscence or a retrospective where we're retelling key moments of the film. You know, oftentimes when you watch a movie, you can almost see a video game level as you're watching, like, oh yeah, that's a, that's a level. And uh, so we tried to go through and, and pick those particular spots of the film that really lend themselves naturally to gameplay and uh, create levels out of them. Toy Story 3 is definitely for everyone. If you're a Toy Story fan, there is something here for you to love. Uh, you know, I've been a Toy Story fan since Toy Story 1 came out. Uh, and a lot of people who grew up with the Toy Story movies who are now in their 20s uh, also have that deep love for the franchise, but uh, also crave uh, an interesting, challenging, uh, interactive experience. So we tried very hard to craft a video game that would appeal to uh, people who are new to the franchise, like small kids, as well as people who are grown up like myself who uh, just have that love for the, the franchise and the characters and who want to play in that world. We are. We're working on uh, the film, uh, the, pic the next Pixar film to be released in uh, 2012, uh, and I can't tell you what it is. <laughs>